Hi and welcome. This is Cousin Russ. I'm going to try something new tonight or today, wherever it is. I am going to demonstrate Family Tree Maker for the Mac version 3. Uh, what you're seeing on the screen now is Family Tree Maker for the Mac version 3. I have already had a file. I've had Family Tree Maker for the Mac on this computer before version 2. And when I installed version 3, it told me that it found a file that I already have. And it brought up a window <clears throat> that asked me if I want to create a backup file and do I want to convert it. And the answer is yes. And uh, what is going on right now, it is backing up my original version 2 um, file. And now it's going to convert that a copy of that file for Family Tree Maker for the Mac version 3. And uh, it did the backup already. It is now updating the file and bringing it into Family Tree Maker for the Mac version 3. Uh, that's all I wanted to do <clears throat> for now, uh, but I will demonstrate Family Tree Maker for the Mac version 3 at another time. But I just wanted to show you what happened when you brought it in. While I'm here, just for uh, people who may not be used to the Mac version, it's very similar to the PC version. Uh, there's the task list. It's just like Family Tree Maker version 2014 and it has the same kinds of information here and we have the people workspace just like we do in the Family Tree Maker 2014 and the places workspace is just the same it looks the same the media file is just the same there are I believe that this file does have some media files uh, now, Maybe it doesn't yet because this is a test file. I just wanted to do some uh, testing. So the same workspaces are in both versions, and that's what I wanted to demonstrate. So there we go. It was that simple. Uh, I always recommend when you're chasing versions like what I just did that you back it up when it's asked. It will ask you. Uh, whether or not you want to back up the file within Family Tree Maker will ask you every time. I recommend that you take advantage of that just in case. Thank you, and have a great day.